Hello. There are nine key elements for any piece of marketing you do, and that means uh, a flyer or an advert, but it also means if you were doing a talk or a presentation, you'd still follow the same structure. You may not be able to include all of these in everything you do, but the more of them that you can include, the more effective it will be. So the first thing you start off with is clearly identifying who you're talking to, your target ideal customer or client, your target market because then you can mm -hmm. tailor make the message. And then all these other bits here are how you tailor make the message. So the first thing you need is a headline, which is, I reckon, 70% of the effectiveness of any piece that you do or any speech that you make. So your headline's really important. And that headline should address a concern or an issue that your ideal target customer or client has got that they haven't got a solution for. So that's the headline. So you would highlight that issue. And then you'll have a put here headlines. You'll look, you'll then have a sub headline, which then promises that you can solve it for them. So um, are you freezing at night when your boiler goes in the winter? We can supply you with 24 hour call out to immediately make sure your home's nice and warm again. Some, something like that. That wasn't very good, but that's sort of idea. So headline is the issue. Sub headline is promising the solution. You then need to appeal to both the logical brain and the emotional brain, because what happens is the emotional brain makes the buying decision, but the logical brain then justifies it to yourself. So you need what are called features, which is the things that the product or service does, but then the benefits, which can be basically accessed by saying, which means that, or which means for you that, and the benefit spells out to the person, the ideal customer or client, what this thing will do for them, rather than you know what this thing does. So features and benefits. And you need to stand out from the crowd. You need to be uh, not a commodity. The more you can stand out from the crowd to your target ideal customer, the more you'll be able to charge a premium price and make more money, make more profit. So you need what's called a differentiator, sometimes called a USP, sometimes called a unique perceived benefit. Sometimes it could just be as simple as that you explain better what your product or service does than the opposition do and you spell it out in more detail but something has to make you stand out from your competitors you need an offer now there's different types of offers depending on whether you're talking to now buyers or future buyers most are future buyers uh, three percent one to three percent are now buyers the rest are either never buyers or future buyers the now buyers, they need an incentive offer, you know, buy one, get one free, that sort of thing. <clears throat> Whereas the future buyers, they need what's called an informational offer for your free information pack, for your free guide, for your free book, for your basically information to help them make their buying decision. So you need an offer and you need them to get some to do something to take up this offer. So you need to build in urgency. So apply by a certain deadline or uh, first hundred customers only that that sort of thing, something that creates urgency because otherwise people won't do anything. They just put it on the back burner and then never get around to it. You need social proof. So social proof says, I know there's a risk in dealing with me because you don't know who I am, but look, this can prove that you can trust me. So these are my qualifications. That would be social proof. Here's some articles and newspaper clippings about how good we are. That would be social proof. Here's some testimonials from uh, satisfied customers and clients. So that would be really good. So anything along those lines that... Um, supplies supporting evidence you like of how good you are and it's called social proof you need a call to action which is similar to the urgency so you've created the urgency so then you need to tell them exactly what they need to do to get this thing and how to do it and when by uh, and then you need here this is quite an important one reasons why because you're making a fantastic offer you've got all these testimonials the offer's too good ideally too good to be true it's called a godfather offer an offer they can't refuse well you need to explain here why it is that you're making such a fantastic offer and it would be something along the lines of the reason we can make this offer is because we know that all our customers will be satisfied and have always been satisfied and you know the, so that you've got to explain why what you're offering isn't too good to be true so there you have it nine key pieces of information that you should include in any piece of marketing written spoken video anything you do the more of those you can include, the more effective it will be. Hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching.